What is up guys? Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video and yes, I've been gone for a couple days. I actually went on a cruise. Some of you guys know that, some of you may not know. But today's video, it's actually a I would say a pretty serious video. I'm not going to lie, you know, it's oh my god. It's not I mean, it depends. If you're serious about getting better and, and about improving, I think today's video is something you should really, you know, take in consideration and really, you know, just think deeply about it and make sure that you do the you do what I say, kind of. I mean, I don't want to be that guy. Like, don't. I don't want to like force you guys to do something you don't want to do. But I just find it very, very important what I'm about to say. So, I'm thinking of Lifecom. Haven't played Call of Duty in almost a week, maybe more than that. About about a week, maybe maybe like seven, eight days. Okay, that, that's a week. I don't know why I said that. But you know, I am going to be playing a domination, basically doing Lifecom and talking about a certain subject that I really want to talk about. I know I haven't talked about it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and start talking about it. So the biggest advice I can give you and the best advice I can give you guys, especially upcoming players, especially players who are serious about becoming pro and actually wanting to improve and actually, you know, getting better in general. I think the biggest advice I can give you is be a freaking try hard. Like... Be that guy that everyone hates because he's always going hard. Be that guy that no matter what he's playing, I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you can have some fun. Sometimes you can cool it. You know, it's not always serious, serious, serious. But, you know, just be that guy everyone just hates being around because he's constantly trying his ass off. You know, that's a good thing. Like, I don't know why people say it's a bad thing. Maybe some, maybe some do, maybe some don't. But it, honestly, it's a good thing. And oh my God, it's got to, I somehow live too. Oh my god. Oh, I, just, I had it. That was a sick feed. That was a freaking. <laughs> that was a sick feed. But be that guy who tries hard. Now, what do I mean by that? When, when, I, when, I, when I would say I sucked, but when I was inconsistent, you know, I wasn't playing that good. I had my off games, you know. There was times where I just, there was maps where I shit the bed. I started taking it serious. Like, I started going hard in whatever I do. If I was playing Money 8, I was working on what I needed to work on. If, if there was a certain hill, if it, was, if it was a certain map, you know, I need to work more on this map. I made sure to work on it. And whether it was wagers, I was trying out some strats, trying out some pushes, you know, seeing what I can do better where I position myself. And no matter what I was doing and where I was playing, I was, you know, making sure to continuously... Just try to improve and go hard, no matter what it was. And I think that's the biggest thing. When it, what, what really like, the biggest thing when it comes to being better. And the reason I say this now, and this is a, a really big, I don't know, a converse, uh, something that happened down in the Reddit. I guess you can say is, you know, a lot. Of T, I know TP says something about this, and the players are saying something about this, and they were talking about how Call of Duty's Call of Duty pro players don't take practice as serious and as serious as they should. And when it comes to, you know, playing scrims, you know, they're slacking or they're messing around and stuff like that. Like, they never take it as serious, right? And, you know, I really started thinking, I'm like, yeah, like, this is true. Like, I do slack sometimes. I do, sometimes I don't call out. Sometimes I'm just chilling. Like, there are times where I don't go hard, as hard. And it really just put this thought in my head. I'm like, I really need to start taking this shit serious. I really need to start going hard. And every, like... Ever since, like, Anaheim, I guess, and, like, leading to Season 2 Finals, Orlando, and Champs, obviously. I started taking practice so freaking serious. Calling out hard, going hard, trying to fix our mistakes, uh, figure out what we're doing wrong, if, if something went wrong. You know, just constantly just trying to improve, going dumb hard. And I realized that that's, that's what we should have been doing from the start. That's what I should have been doing from the start, you know? And I started implementing that into whatever I was doing. If I was playing wagers, like I said earlier, if I was playing money eights, if I was just playing regular eights, okay, regular eights, sometimes I bullet, not gonna lie. But whatever, no matter what I was playing, I was making sure to go hard, fix my start off, maybe to, uh, maybe try to get better on a certain start off, maybe try to get better at a certain position, at a certain play, at a certain hill. There's always room for improvement. There's always, you know, there's there's something you need to work on, work on, on like you're you're not perfect. You're not the perfect player. You nobody is the perfect player. Yeah, you know, you could be really good, but there's you're never gonna be that perfect player. The the best you can do is try to be the best you can be, and you know, when it time comes, you know, just you just perform. But this is something I started implementing in my days, in my like my daily scrims, in, in my games, whatever I was playing. I started implementing that that just that hard work. And, you know, taking practice extremely serious. Like, 
I prefer qual like I would get pissed when my teammates wouldn't call out mid map. I never used to be that guy. I used to be the guy in scrim sometimes not calling out. And it just I just had this complete different mindset. And it, it helped. I got I improved so fast. Like like we we had quality practice over quantity. Like yeah, maybe we only played five six hours a day. Well, as a team, but you know when we're screaming those five six hours for the most part, because obviously there's days where we're frustrated, where we're pissed off. You know, I didn't stream scrim, so you guys didn't really witness all that. But there was times where you know we had our downs, but you know we stuck through it, and we just we kept trying to um, just 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 stay composed and really try to stay stay on the grind and make sure you know we don't give up and. Just keep going hard. If something went wrong, it went wrong. Like, focus up on the next map. Let's continue practice. Like, it's just a scrim, you know, in the end of the day. And this is something we really did. And it just, it, it worked out so well. Like, I've been wanting to give this advice for a while now. And the reason I didn't was because Champs was coming up, obviously. And this is something, I don't know. I just felt like I didn't want to put this in the heads of my enemies, you know. Pro players, you know, you never know. They might watch my video. They'd be like, oh, what does Apti have to say? And they were like, you know what? He's right. Like, I should start going harder. I should start practicing. Like, I don't want to put that in their head, right? <laughs> like, with champs coming up, hell no. So I really, I really, I really held to myself and, you know, really just, just caught my tongue and, and didn't talk about it at all. But I'm just here today really telling you guys that this is probably the best advice I can give you to all the upcoming players, to some, to everyone who wants to take this serious and is actually serious about becoming a pro and actually improving in general. I think the most important thing is you need to take practice serious. And I've been saying this for a while now, but now I'm like really saying it. And, and hopefully, you know, you guys can see, you know, me winning champs, you know, as a as a way that, you know what, like, I just, I just, I hope that that could be more of a living proof that what I'm saying is true. And I just think like that was the best and fastest way I improved. It was all about taking shit serious. When I was playing Money 8, I was going dumb hard. When I was playing wagers, wagers I slacked a little bit sometimes, but for the most part, I was taking it very serious, and I'll be pissed even if it's a dollar. Like I'm taking it serious. Like I made sure to be the best I can be within the time limit I had, and I think that's the most important part: is taking shit serious. Don't be that guy that's, you know, plays to have fun. I mean, in the end of the day, like I said, if you're serious about this, if you're serious about improving, then yeah. You know what? Uh, take shit serious, man. Don't always joke around. When it's when it's game time, it's game time. When it's practice time, it's fucking practice time. Like, get your head in the game. Start going hard. Call out. Like, yeah, it's a scrim. It's not necessarily about winning, but it's it's about getting quality practice. I think that's the most important part in in competitive COD, and I think that's something a lot of teams slacked on. And you know, ever since I joined Envy, and you know, just growing as a player. You know, luckily I had a teammate like, let's say, Cap, who was very strict when it came to practice and calling out. And he really, you know, he really, he pointed me to the right dire direction. And I started taking scrims a lot more serious ever since I joined Envy. And, you know, I I I'm happy that I was surrounded by players like Cap or Slasher, even John, who really want to win and who, who really go hard in practice. Even though Cap was definitely the main one who always, who always like, he was just like a great captain, I guess you can say. You know, he was very serious about good practice. He was very serious about calling out mid map. You know, make sure we're small talking. And I started to build that mentality. And and then I would call out all the time. And if my teammates were calling out, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, fucking call out. You know, like get go hard. Like this, like we have a month left or a week left before champs. Like fucking take it serious. And no matter who we were playing, we're playing Panda, STDX gaming, or whoever we're playing. You know, just make sure to go hard. Like. I understand. Against some teams, we're going to go harder than others. Against Optic, we're going to go dumb hard. Against maybe a team like like uh, Panda or, I don't know, like maybe Renegades or DT, XDT, or Pac-Man's team, TXTSM, aka e United. Like, yeah, we might not go as hard against them. But, you know, at the same time, like, we, sh we should still give it our all. But I think the most important thing, guys, is take shit serious, man. Get quality practice in. Like, I cannot stress this enough. Like, this is literally, and I'm like dead ass, the best advice I can give you guys. Like, something that has helped me improve so much, and something that's helped me, you know, become a better player is, it's just going hard and really focusing and really trying to get good practice and quality practice. Like I said, I can't, 
quality practice. I don't care if you play for 10 hours. If, if you're only going hard or playing pretty serious for 3 hours, then it's not going to be a huge difference. But if you're going for, for if you're playing, let's say, set of 10, you're playing 6 hours. But for 6 hours, you're going dumb hard. You're really focusing on proving. You're really trying to get better. You're fixing your mistakes. And you're doing all those things. You're going to improve. You're going to have better results. It's just like anything you do in life. You know, if you're going to a gym. And you're going three hours to gym, let's say, but you're but you're you're not dieting well, uh, you're eating bad, you know, you're not sleeping as much as you should be, you know, it's it's like anti anti results in a sense, you know. But if you're if you're going to gym for let's say an hour and a half only, it's half of that. But you're eating well at home, you know, you're sleeping well, getting like seven hours sleep minimum and all that. You see, you get better results and it's just the same mindset. I wish I had this mindset like two, three years ago. I mean, I did, but it was like halfway or almost there. But now I really have this like new mindset and I'm just going to try to continue to go with it. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take my advice into consideration. This is something I'm really trying to tell you guys because it's really important, you know, just Try to be the best you can be. Just go hard, and whether it's a practice, whatever it is, and just try to continue to do good. This has been your boy, Apti. Hope you all have a good day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.